This is the seventh botany and foraging intensive that I've led, and this year we transected the state of Oregon from northwest to southeast over the course of two weeks. It was a real privilege to spend two days foraging with John Kalis, author of Edible Wild Plants, Volumes 1 and 2. That included a field trip out to the coast to learn all about uh, sea vegetables, to uh, find some edibles, to uh, really just to sample some there on the beach, to pick some things, wash them in the ocean, eat them, eat them fresh. Uh, was truly amazing experience, especially for a land lover like me coming from Montana. Uh, was truly amazing. I've seen many of these seaweeds before on trips to the coast, and I had no idea they were edible. While the tide was still low, uh, John rushed us over to another beach, and uh, we went clamming. There was uh, about half a dozen of us that uh, got clamming permits, and uh, John showed us what to do and how to find the clams. Yeah, we uh, gathered, uh, most of us gathered the legal limit of what we could for the day, and it made quite of a pile of clams uh, between us. I've never uh, particularly liked clams or seafood before because I didn't grow up around it, so it's an alien taste to me, but um, these clams I thought were delicious. Something about uh, you know being part of the harvesting process, going out and collecting and processing our own, and of course they were super fresh, uh, were truly delicious. For the first four nights of our trip, we stayed at Bear Hollow Blueberry Farm at uh, Sherwood, Oregon, which was really an ideal venue for uh, teaching a class like this. Next, we headed to Sandy, Oregon, uh, to the home of Tom Brown III, otherwise known as T3, and uh, spent a few days there botanizing and um, practicing our awareness skills. Tom introduced the group to fox walking, and we practiced moving quietly through the forest, connecting at a deeper level. Audrey got her first ever friction fire with the bow and drill, and T3 uh, led the group on a blindfold uh, drum walk where you're uh, going through the forest uh, towards the sound of a drum. We had a uh, day off from class allocated as a travel day, and Sydney, one of our students, uh, invited us to join her for a hike at Umbrella Falls at uh, Mount Hood. And uh, most of the group came and the flowers were really spectacular there. Although it wasn't class day, the uh, students brought along their books and practiced keying out flowers anyway. And all had a good time. I was thrilled to uh, get a chance to spend some time with some uh, mountain wildflowers uh, since it wasn't otherwise on the schedule. It was especially nice just being in the uh, cool, moist forest uh, when we've had some hot weather and knowing that we're headed out uh, into the desert next, this was just really refreshing. Uh, this slideshow features a lot of my own photos, uh, but also the best photos from everybody in the class. After Mount Hood, we migrated to Indian Park uh, campground on the shores of Lake Simtustus on the Warm Springs Reservation, uh, where we stayed for a couple nights. The plants were largely dried up here compared to other places we'd been so far, uh, but I sent the group out on a treasure hunt and they did great uh, finding all kinds of things. Uh, and we also found a few uh, beautiful wildflowers out there. And back on the road again, uh, we had another non-class day for travel, and uh, Sydney, our student with the local knowledge, suggested we should all go to Smith Rock State Park for a fun hike, and that we did. We found a few uh, currants and uh, service berries, some beautiful flowers, uh, some really incredible scenery there, and uh, also found this uh, very friendly ponderosa pine tree that uh, everyone just gravitated to to uh, be in the presence of this beautiful tree. Most of us toured uh, the High Desert uh, Museum, which included some uh, live animals there. And then we headed out to uh, Glass Buttes to camp for the night. 
I've heard about Glass Buttes for uh, decades, always wanted to check it out. It was so amazing, there was just obsidian uh, laying loose all over the ground around there. And then we stopped at uh, Crystal Hot Springs uh, for a quick soak. And there were so many uh, grasshoppers in the general region that they just got plastered on our uh, windshield when we were driving uh, like to the uh, Malheur uh, National Wildlife Refuge. There was only a few of us who uh, stopped at the wildlife refuge and it was uh, pretty buggy there at the moment. Uh, so I didn't spend much time outside, but they had these uh, taxidermied uh, bird specimens in their museum, which were truly incredible, uh, just sort of a great resource to learn from. Our ultimate destination for the last few days of the class was uh, Steens Mountain in the southeastern corner of the state. The area is uh, super remote. I was just astonished at uh, how little development there is in eastern Oregon. South Steens Campground uh, served as our base for the last few days of the class, and we broke into smaller groups to do some uh, plant walks into the wilderness area from there. The students had so much fun on this class, uh, and it wasn't all just plants either. In fact, they had so much to uh, share and to teach each other that honestly, I'm not sure if they would have even noticed if I didn't bother to show up to teach my part of the class. The tribal living component is perhaps one of the most important aspects of this class is that people come as strangers, but within a couple of days are bonding, uh, building friendships, and then going on an adventure as we travel across the state together. The flowers were really incredible out at uh, Steens Mountain, and the higher you went in elevation, uh, the more there was to see. Jules, one of the uh, students, uh, introduced us to the game of the human knot, where you reach uh, through and grab other people's hands, and then you have to try and figure out how to untangle everybody to uh, open up into a big circle, and that kept us busy for quite a while. On the final day of the class, uh, we drove up to the top of Steens Mountain uh, to play in the snow and to check out the uh, alpine uh, wildflowers up there, and that was truly spectacular. Uh, we ultimately held our closing circle up there on the top of the mountain, and then uh, anyone who wanted to could go peek over the edge. Uh, from the top of Steens Mountain, it's like 5,000 feet uh, straight down to the Alverd Desert on the uh, eastward side there. The Botany and Foraging Intensive is held in a different location uh, every time. And so if you would like to join us for the adventure, then please go to greenuniversity.com and check out our class schedule. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. And I look forward to seeing you out on the trail.